Good morning, once again, at least while it still is morning. Um, i am been wanting to do a video on this one um, sometimes, and I don't mean to point out any customer's knives in particular. Sometimes I do a video because I like the footage on my on my YouTube channel and I really like everybody to have a video of their individual knife but this one here I'm really excited about doing. Um, this, I, I can say a couple things about this. First I'll do the uh, the sheath. It's a, a, a deerskin lined affair. Wet molded. And anyway there's the sheath. Now, um, this is a knife I have dubbed Echo Trail. I I frequently name knives when uh, not just individual knives, but a knife, a name to refer to a style, um, so that it can be. Um, ordered by my customers they might say they want a gunflint hunter or um, a white iron hunter something like that so anyway I've named this echo echo trail which is a trail in uh, in uh, arrowhead of Minnesota anyway um, I just dig it I like the size I like the uh, I like how everything worked out and um, this is a w w1 tool steel with a false edge a clip clip point with a false edge and I gave it a hamon and I was playing with the hamon and just I like how it fades off into little ghosts off in the they're they're bold with a with a wonder if I can get where do you get there's kind of a opportunity to see some of the ghosty stuff but the ghost just kind of fade off and somebody um, I know I'm rambling here somebody quite accurately described that as the stripes on a smallmouth bass because if you've ever caught really good sized smallmouth you can see once you get them out of the water and they're in the boat or on the shore they literally um, the stripes change intensity and coloration and anyway this kind of looks like a stripes on a smallmouth bass. This is a piece of stabilized koa which really works with the stripes in the hamon. The guard here is um, mild steel, I don't know, just oil, um, mild steel that I then blast with some really well used coal slag and it's real well used so I mean you can't even hardly it just basically has dulled it flattened it and I call that frosted so this is a W1 Echo Trail W1 with Hamon frosted guard and we can do a quick takedown on this this is the utility what I call a utility style of takedown finial such that it does not have the decorative cover. Um, this uses a full, it's a 532nd socket head cap screw. 532nd socket head cap screw that's silver braised. I don't know if you'll be able to see, I don't know what my camera is doing here. Might be able to see a, a braised line on there. And I got a little tip on my table. Um, Ooh, there it comes off. Had to give it a little encouragement. So anyway, this is the uh, the guard. It's a friction fit. Um, if I, I don't know if I can get any focus on this thing. It always wants to focus on the background. Just idea. That dull spot is just, there's no oil on this guard. It just at that point. Now, you see that pin just fell out, right? That's because there is it's just a friction fit on these pins. And there that came right out of the handle. There are two hundred thousandths into the guard 
They're five eighths, right? So it's six hundred twenty-five thousandths. Then I put them four hundred twenty-five thousandths into the handle. So when I'm assembling the knife, rather than try to get both pins lined up at the same time to get things dialed in, I put one in the guard, which means it's sticking out four hundred twenty-five thousandths. Then I put the opposite one in the handle, so it's just sticking out two hundred thousandths. So as I put it together. The only thing it's got to line up is that first one, that first pin, and then the second one will get dialed in. Anyway, pretty simple affair. Oil it up. There we go. Right, I'm not shy about making these things tight. There she is. Echo Trail W1. Hamon, I really love the uh, the proportions on this. The uh, handle is four and three eighths long. Let me do a quick, just for the heck of it. I don't like little knives. I've never been a fan of little hunting knives. This is actually a full five and an eighth long. Um, I like my hunting knives, belt knives, to be anywhere from about four and seven eighths to five and change. And this is this is a little long, but uh, I like to be able to use a knife. You know what I'm saying? I spent a lot of years dressing out a lot of deer, and my buddies would end up coming to my place because I had the tree, you know, the tree to get things drug up and and. Uh, cranked up and field dressed and so forth and they'd always end up showing up at dark you know what I'm saying dark dark 30 so when you're in the middle of dressing a deer and I reach and I lay a knife down and I want to reach over and get it I want to be able to have a handful of knife I don't like little dinky dinky knives it's just the way I am so anyway five and an eighth inch blade on that could go down to about four and seven eighths the uh Echo Trail. Hope you enjoy it. And vote this year. Here's my here's my announcement. If you don't want this country to keep going where it's going, what you see on the news, go and vote. And you know who to vote for.